What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'm going to talk about what we can expect in this week's reset here in Destiny 2, which happens tomorrow, of course, February the 8th. I know a lot of you out there are probably not farming your pinnacle items anymore. I know I'm not. I'm like one piece of gear away on all three of my characters for having 1330 everything. But over the last couple of weeks, I've been mainly farming material, farming a lot of these weapons that are going to be, you know, leaving the game once the update comes out on the 22nd of February. So I'm sure a lot of you are probably kind of in the same boat I am. And this week we have uh, some pretty good things you might want to farm, especially when it comes to the nightfall. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. First of all, some few a uh, few things that you can expect to see this week in the store uh, for Bright Dust. One of them being the Pink Mist Weapon Ornament, which was on sale either last week or the week before, or in the store at least, for silver. That will be available for Bright Dust this week. The Monster Shell, the Finery Shader, the Economy Ship, which was probably one of the more unique looking ships in game. It was recently also in the store for silver. That will be available for Bright Dust this week also. And several different 30 uh, 30th anniversary emote so you might want to check out the store to see if there's some of these items that you do not have yet because in my opinion it's a lot better to get them for bright dust than having to pay silver for them uh this is kind of the way i look at it and it seems like all of these items always seem to get put in the store eventually for that bright dust so if you've been saving your bright dust up this week will be a good week to pick up some pretty unique items when it comes to the empire hunt and the exo challenge the exo challenge will be uh simulation agility and the empire hunt will be the uh, warrior also this week we have bonus vanguard ranks along with the hallowed layer nightfall now the hallowed layer nightfall will have the comedian shotgun and the shadow price assault rifle now the shadow price assault rifle will be one of the weapons that is going away on the 22nd once the witch queen dlc is released so this most likely is going to be the last chance we have to get the shadow price ar so if you're looking for a really good rolled shadow price or a really good rolled comedian this will definitely be the week to do it. I'm going to be definitely farming the Nightfall for that good rolled Shadow Price. I've not actually got many Shadow Prices to drop. I seem to always get Comedian Shotguns if I get a weapon. Uh, when it comes to the Shadow Price, I'm still looking for a good rolled gun uh, for that particular weapon. And, uh, of course, you never know. You might need actually need your Shadow Price down the road. because We're not quite sure when the Shadow Price will be you know, added back to the game. We know how they do here, or how Bungie does here in Destiny. They will add a lot of this stuff back eventually, but it may be a while before we see the Shadow Price in rotation once again. When it comes to the Crucible this week, the playlist will be Clash. So if you're a fan of Team Deathmatch uh, in the Crucible, that will, th that will be the playlist for the week. Also, the Realm is on that daily rotation, so keep that in mind. Uh, when it comes to the Vault of Glass, it will be the Atheon Challenge. The reward, if you play on a higher level, of course, is that corrective measure. And you can get that time loss corrective measure, which is pretty much always a god roll. Also, when it comes to what you can expect this week in Dares of Eternity, uh, there's going to be several different armor uh, styles available. So you'll have the Simulation, the Sovereign, and also uh, the Anti-Extinction. So all three of those armor styles will be available. So if you're a fan of collecting different styles to change your look in game, there's going to be several unique ones this week available in Dares of Eternity. Also, some nice weapons. Uh, just a few of them. We'll have several SMGs and pulse rifles. But most importantly, I think the Arsenic White Bow, uh, the Dark Promise, and the True Prophecy are some weapons that a lot of people are always trying to get really good rolls on. So definitely uh, check out Dares of Eternity this week if you're looking for some really good rolls on some of these weapons. Like I said, once again, that may be you know, leaving the game here very soon. Since we're going to have a new world loot pool for weapons and all that. Uh, kind of going on they talked about last week in the this week in bungie so make sure that you're getting a lot of these weapons you know kind of go out and farm them to get them uh to put in your vault and to use before everything changes here on the 22nd anyway guys leave me a comment with your thoughts of course if you like the video hit the like if you have not subscribed yet please do so be sure to check out everything down in the description the community discord my twitter and of course the affiliates here on the channel empire jerky and amazon associates also check out the merch store that is linked in the description as well and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.